Hi, this is Jorge Renault with La Tito Justice Company Hall, and I'm sitting here this morning with Gabriel Solis, the Executive Director of Tech at the Violence Project, and we're coming to you all with an opportunity and an ask uh, that pays you $10,000, which is kind of a cool thing, right? Um, the Tech at the Violence Project has is looking for fellows, and all what that means is they're looking for individuals who have quote unquote lived experience. And by lived experience, we mean someone who has been subjected to violence by the state. And when we say violence, we don't necessarily mean you can get inside of here with a baton, although yeah, we will surely accept that. Uh, we're looking for someone maybe who has been denied uh, something by the system, that who has been told, hey, you're gonna be evicted, who has been told that uh, their child has been denied services because of whatever, who has had uh, run-ins with, again, with cops, with judges, with whatever, with district attorneys, and has had some sort of brutality or abuse inflicted upon them by the system. And what takes up the violence once is for them just to tell their stories and to sit down with others and to, to have them listen to, listen to them share their stories also. Uh, what's needed for this position is one, uh, some sort of lived experience, again, uh, battling against the system or having some sort of violence figured on you. And two, the willingness to question, to push back against these systems of power and oppression that have been taking advantage of people like yourself and like us, Dr. Christine, and Vincent, Gabriel, talk a little bit. Yeah, so as Jorge mentioned, <clears throat> we just released this opportunity. It's called the Visions After Violence Fellowship. We're gonna be um, <clears throat> welcoming two fellows this year. The fellowship runs from December to August, it's nine months. <clears throat> it's uh, looking for like a five to 10 hour commitment per week. And as Jorge mentioned, it's a $10,000 stipend. Uh, the idea here uh, is that we want to work directly with community members, people who've been directly impacted by state violence. You don't need any formal education. You don't need an undergraduate degree. You don't need a master's degree in oral history or archives. You don't need a PhD. Um, we just want to work with people in our community. You don't even need experience doing this kind of community memory work. The idea here is that we'll, you'll be part of our team for the next nine months and we will work with you to develop out your project. You will work in close collaboration with TAVP staff, with our artists and writers in residence. Jorge is our writer in residence this year <clears throat> and other collaborators that we work with from other community groups. The deadline for the applications is October 29th, so it's coming up in, at the end of this month. And if you have any questions about the opportunity, about the fellowship, you're on the fence, you're thinking about applying, but you're not really sure, please contact us, call us, email us. You can reach us at staff at texasafterviolence.org and we can sort of work through any concerns or questions you have.